In this video, we are going to talk about the convergence of Fourier series. But first, let's talk about what a Fourier series is. When we talk about a Fourier series, most of your exposure to these has been in the solution of partial differential equations. In this case, let's look at the, the series that arose when we solved a problem with periodic boundary conditions. Typically, it looked like this. We had a constant term, and then we had everything else, which was some cosine terms, whoops, cosine terms there, and then we had the sine terms here. And we learned how to calculate these, uh, these coefficients as we went along. And so when we talk about these two things, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say that, well, we, we were expressing our solution in terms of these series. Typically, we were matching a boundary condition or an initial condition. Okay, So we had some function f of x that was given to us. And I'm not going to write down equals here because we don't know if this series converges or uh, or you know whether it's whether it meets certain criteria so we're going to put this little symbol here to mean that uh, given f of x I can calculate this thing let me say well what are we going to calculate we're going to calculate the coefficients the coefficients are uh, so in the first case it's going to be 1 over 2 L Integral from minus L to L. Remember that our domain was always minus L to L for a periodic function. We can always shift it and translate it and whatnot, but let's not worry about that now. And the ANs are going to be just 1 over L. Integral from minus L to L. And that's going to be F of X cosine n pi x over l dx and then we also had the bn's too and that's kind of the same thing right so bn is equal to 1 over l l to l f of x sine of n pi x over l dx, of course. All right. And so now we would say this is the Fourier series of f of x if these, um, uh, if these integrals exist. So uh, you've, you've learned in the past, of course, that there's some, some functions for which the, you can't take the integral because uh, it blows up or does something bad. Um, so, uh, so the idea here is if, the, if you can calculate these integrals, or if these integrals exist in some sense, uh, then, uh, then that's the Fourier series for that function. Okay. Um, if the integrals don't exist, uh, then, uh, then that's not necessarily true. So this little tilde means that I can calculate the Fourier series and that they exist. I uh, suppose I should add here, sorry for not saying this before, that um, that x is taken to be in the domain from minus l to l. And remember that functions like this arose uh, in the context of periodic boundary conditions. So when we talk about f of x, we talk about f of x only on this domain with periodic boundary conditions. Notice that the coefficients respect that, right? and the form respects that. So we're only integrating from minus L to L and look at what's on the right hand side here. This function is guaranteed to be 2L periodic. 
that is that if I look at the series, don't look at the function, look at the series, whatever these coefficients may be, if I add, uh, if I add uh, 2L to X, I end up right back where I started from, uh, right? The, the, each of these functions are 2L periodic, and so, uh, so we're guaranteed that, okay, in the problem. But we're still not going to write down an equal sign here because we don't necessarily know that this, uh, that this uh, series converges to that function. Okay, um, so the important thing to think about is to to know is that every function has a Fourier series even if the series doesn't converge. So if I if I can calculate these integrals, I should say, then I have a Fourier series even if this thing blows up or something like that, or even if the this partial sum doesn't converge, I can still talk about the Fourier series. It's a mathematical object, okay, that we can think about. All right. Um, so if the Fourier series converges, then it is 2L periodic. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write, uh, I'm going to call this left-hand side here G of X. So this, this bit here, that's going to, I'm going to call that G of X. And hopefully it's going to converge and equal to F of X. So I'd like you to notice that g of x plus 2l is equal to g of x. Okay, that's just the way g is built. Okay, all right, very good. Um, now, uh, now, if uh, if g of x converges, we can say a few things about it. So this is the, the most important theorem to learn right now. I'm not going to prove the theorem to you. I'm just going to state it. Okay. So if um, f of x is piecewise smooth, piecewise smooth on minus L to L, okay, um, then the Fourier series, that's, that's G, right, the Fourier series, the right-hand side, um, uh, converges, okay, Fourier series converges, and it converges in two different ways, okay. So one, um, two, the 2L periodic extension Of uh, of f of x um, if the extension is periodic. Or two to the um, average I'll write down one half plus plus F of X not minus at any um, point of discontinuity
x naught. Okay. Oh, you know what? I didn't mean to say periodic here. I meant to say continuous. Okay. Um, so let's let's try to parse what this means. 